thoughts that we had in our head when we were approaching the new Grand Cherokee was honoring the tradition of Grand Cherokee. It's a very important model for us. Uh, of course, we, we think a lot about Wrangler in our line, but the other end of it is, is Grand Cherokee. Very important, and it's the top end of, of Jeep. Uh, this happens to be the fifth generation Grand Cherokee, and we've built on the tradition of that vehicle. Every time we uh, replace it, it's better. It's better uh, off-road performance, it's better on-road performance, quieter, more comfortable, um, more luxurious. Heritage does play a big role in Grand Cherokee for us, for me personally. Uh, of course, it has to have the, the Jeep elements that we, th we, we think about, uh, the trapezoidal wheel openings, the seven slot grill, the, the shark nose grill to it, the taper of the D-pillar, the shape of the rear lamps. Those are all uh, maybe not really important to the customer, but they are to us to carry on heritage and tradition. Uh, other things that, that come into play that are a bit more subtle is visibility. Uh, we've actually, on the new vehicle, lowered the belt line a little bit, opened the windows up, uh, and visibility to me is part of being premium and luxury. Uh, beyond that, the, uh, the stance of the vehicle, particularly the, the vehicle didn't get any wider than the outgoing, but the wheels moved out closer to the edge of the body, offers a better stance for us. And in all of the, the line work, we've just dialed out some of the wedge and made it a bit more sedate. Really like it. When we're designing the body of the new Grand Cherokee, uh, the ideas of capability come into play more in the uh, approach angle, departure angle, keeping the ends of the vehicle very trim, keeping the wheel openings uh, quite open, and then the, the approach angle, keeping the sills high on it. The new Trailhawk has a uh, some specific features to it not available on any other models in the Grand Cherokee lineup. Uh, let's start with the tires. It's a more aggressive off-road tire in its own specific wheel. Because the suspension goes up uh, to allow more ground clearance to it, we also designed into it a, uh, the front fascia has a much more aggressive approach angle to it. So it can, it can approach uh, a more aggressive object. The tow hooks that are integrated in the front fascia are rated one and a half times GVW on the vehicle. Uh, important part of the off-road story because if you're, uh, I say, if you're not using your tow hooks, you're probably not doing it right. Uh, also, a, a tow hook on the back. The lower fascias and wheel openings are all molded color black for uh, to fend off rock chips, and set, et cetera. There's a functional hood patch uh, on the hood. It's a, it's a matte black patch to lessen the uh, off-road or the glare, sun glare on the hood. And then all the bright work is taken off the vehicle and toned down either in a gray or a black. This new Grand Cherokee is the first in the lineup to feature a 4xE package. And 4xE brings to it really a unique aspect, especially for off-roading, silent, high torque application. The appearance of the vehicle, we want to reflect the, the new 4xE. So all of the, uh, the details on the, on the trail hawk are done in a blue tow hooks, there's part of the hood patch, all the, the badging is done with this blue, and even a little detail on the wheel. It was our intent to make this the best generation Grand Cherokee ever. Uh, the, the two row, the three row, the trail hawk, which I think I'm pretty excited about, the summit, and the addition now of the electrified 4xE platform where you can drive on full battery electric power or, or go back to the, the gas propulsion. Uh, this has been a really comprehensive program for us, and we're very excited about it. 22 Jeep Grand Cherokee offers three powertrain options. Standard is the all-aluminum 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, rated at 293 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque. Buyers who want a little more can opt for the award-winning 5.7 liter V8. It's rated at 357 horsepower and 390 foot-pounds of torque, delivered over a broad power band. But you know what? Our customers wanted more. And that led us to the new plug-in hybrid offerings as well. The all-new 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE is an eco-friendly powertrain option for customers who enjoy an electrified lifestyle. It is all Jeep with its fun-to-drive on-road experience and a new benchmark level of off-road capability. I'll start with some of the numbers of the 4xE variant. 375 horsepower, 470 foot-pounds of torque, solid performance, no compromise. So let's take a walk through the system from front to back. I'll give you an idea how we got here. 
You know, building on our highly successful Jeep Wrangler 4xe, we began with our proven 2.0 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with a direct inject fuel system and a twin scroll low inertia turbocharger delivering a high power to displacement ratio. Then, building on our e-torque technology, an engine mounted belt starter generator replaces the alternator. It delivers torque to the crankshaft and provides seamless start-stop functionality. A second and much larger electric motor sits in between the engine and the transmission, replacing the torque converter. A clutch manages the torque input from the two liter engine. And when the clutch is open, the motor generator drives the transmission for full electric operation. That system also manages the regen braking. Our eight speed torque flight transmission is robustly suited to handle the combined torque from the engine and the electric machines. It allows for seamless on-road and off-road driving. Legendary off-road capability begins courtesy of our 4xe unique all-wheel drive transfer case, which includes a too-high selection for improved fuel economy also. And on the Trailhawk model, the rear electronic limited slip differential and active transfer case works together to improve traction by moving the torque to the wheel with the most grip. A 400 volt battery system provides 17 kilowatt hours of energy. It has 96 lithium ion cells using state of the art NMC chemistry. The battery pack has a dedicated heating and cooling circuit to maintain optimum temperature for long lasting durability. The system mounts under the floor and below the second row seat. This also improves the vehicle dynamics by that lower center of gravity and the battery system is protected for Grand Cherokee's off-road capability. This powertrain delivers an estimated 57 MPGE and 25 miles of all-electric range, which covers the daily commute of many of our customers. When not in electric mode, the Grand Cherokee 4xe operates as a hybrid, providing greater range extension and eliminating that range anxiety. But when off-road, the high torque from the electric motor delivers superior performance without the need to rev that IC engine. The electric motor torque also enhances the on-road driving experience. An e-select mode on the driver control will allow the powertrain to be in many different modes. Hybrid, which is the default, electric only, and e-save, which conserves the battery and charges it for later use. And in this e-save mode, the driver can choose between two sub-options, battery save, where the powertrain uses all the available torque capacity while driving to maintain the battery charge at a preset limit, or battery charge, which allows the two liter engine to actively recharge the battery while driving. It's a nice benefit if you forget to recharge the battery. The Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xe can also maximize regenerative energy capture via driver selectable regen mode. The max regen function allows for increased energy capture so the driver has the ability to optimize fuel economy and driving experiences. You know what, during development, we logged more than 1.5 million miles of real on-road and off-road validation to ensure every customer gets the most out of their Grand Cherokee 4xe plug-in hybrid. This vehicle is a great example of how our brand and engineering teams work together to deliver electric range and greatly improved fuel efficiency without compromising any of our customer expectations and building upon our electrified future. Today, with the aid of this rolling chassis, I'm gonna tell you all about the fifth generation Grand Cherokee 4xE Trailhawk. Jeep's most capable Trailhawk to date, and better yet, it's electrified. Zero emission freedom. For the fifth generation, we started with the air suspension, increasing the OR2, off-road two setting travel by 15 millimeters, enabling a total ground clearance of 10.9 inches. We didn't stop there. We added a disconnecting electronic sway bar to the vehicle. This allows independent movement of right and left side wheels. It enables 455 of ramp travel index, which is a key off-road metric, 20% improved over the previous generation. Not only that, this property is set up 
so that the left side is in full articulation and the right side is down on the ground. That technology allows us to maintain the tire patch when traversing obstacles that are only on one side of the vehicle, enabling us to have true stability on the trail. To add to that, we added an electronic brake module. This electronic brake module allows for increased rate of hydraulic pressure build, a key enabler to facilitate quicker torque transfer through our front brake limited differential. We matched that with our proven QuadraDrive 2 technology in the rear of the vehicle, which enables 100% torque transfer from right side to left side. Let's talk torque. 470 foot-pounds of torque. This combined with a two-speed T-case, transfer case, this vehicle is ready to wheel. And when I say ready to wheel, not just words. This vehicle recently completed the Rubicon Trail. I had the opportunity to drive part of that trail, and I can tell you it's an incredibly capable vehicle that is electrified quiet. So let's talk electrification. For the fifth generation, we knew electrification was a requirement. But not only that, it was a requirement to not compromise any of the customer package or customer comfort. So starting off, we packaged two batteries forward of the seat cross member here in the underbody. These batteries provide a total of 17 kilowatts of power, but you can notice that the rear seat here in the vehicle no compromise to occupant package. Once we had positioned these batteries, we had to re-engineer the exhaust system for superior sound quality, balancing the center resonator with the transverse muffler in the rear. With the mid-cabin complete, we then positioned the key electronic modules in the vehicle. You can see on either side of the tunnel, and you can also see forward, indicated by the yellow stripes, the unique structural components to package these modules. The floor pan of this vehicle is unique for the PHEV. It's built down the same assembly line at Detroit Assembly Complex MAC as the two row and the three row. Truly a purpose-built architecture with flex engineered to accommodate the electrification. The next step in the engineering process was to engineer all the high voltage routing. But when I say engineer, it's a balanced product and process. All the high voltage cable routings had to be engineered for the process. We completed with manufacturing engineering numerous virtual simulations of the process of connecting all the high voltage cables prior to any hardware even being built. We knew we would have quality connections to support the electrified vehicle. When we talk connections, all the connections in the high voltage are sealed. This is a requirement for our 24 inches of water fording. Also, as you look through the underbody here, you'll notice steel skid plates throughout protecting all components. 3.5 millimeters of steel skid plates, a Jeep off-road requirement. I can tell you this vehicle is capable as demonstrated by the Rubicon Trail. I can also tell you it's electrified, quiet, Jeep life electrified. For the 2022 Grand Cherokee, our major objective with the interior design was to create a space that was, you know, fresh and modern, had an openness to it, so a comfort that was there, and then uh, being able to, you know, create a Jeep form language that was both athletic, clean, and the theme was very clear, so when you sat inside the, the cabin, you could see exactly, you know, all of the controls 
that were right at your fingertips. The space that we created inside the interior is, is really done in, in, in two different ways. We have this strong horizontality across the instrument panel that uh, is defined by the, the wing, as we call it, and that runs end to end. It really brings a, a nice width and a nice character to the instrument panel. And that is sort of accented by the mid bolster that's sort of, you know, cupped inside of that. And uh, that's sort of offset by the, the sort of black glass, you know, that, that comes down and overlaps it where the screen is, is located and some of the controls. And you get this nice um, duality on the interior where it creates some excitement inside the interior. We've now introduced a passenger display for the 2022 Grand Cherokee. And that is also integrated very beautifully because uh, the, the glass of the display has some artistry to it. It's not just a, a flat surface. It's really integrated in a way where uh, the surface has a little flick around the vents so you get some nice three-dimensionality, a nice puddle of, of, of a highlight. And on the bottom edge of, of the screen, there's actually a beautifully wrapped stitched piece that that uh, you know sort of accents the lower end of it, so it's integrated perfectly into the space. The Trailhawk is a, is an exciting addition to uh, the lineup on the uh, two-row Grand Cherokee. The major theme, color-wise, is black with the red accents, um, as you find on the exterior as well. The accent, you know, that is on the metal wing that that sort of rolls up behind the screen is a, a, a cool fine line hydro. It's a very uh, modern tactile trim element that, that runs through the instrument panel and into the doors, uh, both front and rear. And then, as I mentioned, we've got the uh, signature accented uh, red stitches throughout the interior, um, except when you get the 4xE model, because then all of the elements, those, those little details, go from uh, red to uh, surf blue, because that is our signature color that, that shows electrification. On the, uh, the Summit and the Summit Reserve, we introduce the, uh, the Tupelo, uh, color space, which is which is one of my favorites. The Summit Reserve really brings a whole new level of opulence and you know the combination of, of the colors and the materials really brings the vehicle to to another level. Technology is is something that we integrated into the vehicle beautifully. We know that you know comfort, safety, quality are important things. But the integration of technology for us is something that uh, we also wanted to key in on and create something that was unique to Jeep and created a, uh, a premium experience for our customers. Infotainment in the vehicle has really transformed over the last several years. And it's not so much about a radio anymore, but an actual an infotainment platform, something that uh, you can use in the car to connect uh, all the different systems in the vehicle but also connect to some of the features and services that you're used to only previously in consumer electronics. Our primary focus has been the driver and making sure the driver feels safe and in control of the vehicle, but with the, uh, the power that we're seeing in these, these new platforms like Uconnect 5, we actually can create an experience for every single passenger. So for the 22 Jeep Grand Cherokee, actually the passenger even gets their own specific experience uh, with the optional passenger display. So what the passenger display allow them to do is actually act as a co-pilot uh, for the driver. They can, they can search for points of interest. They can send those directions uh, to the center screen or to the cluster and actually just help the driver along their way. The other thing they can do is actually they can uh, have their own personal entertainment. So uh, one thing they can do is control the rear seats uh, or watch the movie that's on those, or they can uh, project uh, their smart device onto the passenger display over the HDMI port. So you can actually through your smartphone, uh, browse the internet right there in the front seat of the car. In the 22 Jeep Grand Cherokee, uh, the experience isn't just about the center display, about the radio. We actually have three displays in front of the driver, so we can provide them all the right information at the right time. So that starts with a 10-inch reconfigurable heads-up display. We have a 10-inch full digital cluster that offers some great features like full screen navigation, uh, some Jeep features like pitch and roll, uh, and even uh, night vision. Uh, to help see things in the dark that you might not have otherwise seen. And then to the right in the center, actually our all new Uconnect 5 system. One of my favorite things about our Uconnect 5 system is the ability to personalize it. Uh, and we can do that in a few different ways. Uh, the first thing is uh, you can have up to five different user profiles. And what a user profile do is 
save all that personalization, all those settings that you've made uh, to the car, and allow you to change those between drivers at the press of one button. The other thing, and my, my favorite application in the, in the whole system, is the home screen, which will allow you to build a custom interface of your own design. And what that allows you to do is get to all of your favorite features and functions in one press uh, of a button. So one of the things I'm most proud of is how we've taken features and functions of the vehicle and integrating them with features and services that you've previously only seen maybe in your, your digital lifestyle. So a great example of that is the Amazon Alexa uh, voice assistant. So with that, you actually can control from your home to your car, from your car to your home, and it'll even allow you access to certain uh, functions and features within the vehicle. The new Grand Cherokee has an all new uh, rear seat entertainment system that integrates Fire TV. And just like how we're taking uh, something from the consumer electronics world, Alexa, uh, bring it into the vehicle. Now we're bringing something straight from your living room into the vehicle with Fire TV. So what Fire TV is gonna allow our customers to do is start, say, watching a movie in their living room and pick it right back up on the road. Our customers used to having all the, the, this different this media content in their home. Now they can have it in the rear seat of their car. So with the, the new Grand Cherokee, we, we have the uh, 4xe propulsion system. And from the experience point of view, one of the things we want to make sure is that the driver can get the most out of that technology. So things like in the digital cluster, we have uh, eco-coaching that'll help them understand uh, better ways to drive the vehicle to get the most out of it. Uh, in the Uconnect 5 system, we have uh, hybrid pages that are going to allow them to do things like charge scheduling. And if you're outside of the vehicle, our new mobile app will allow you to have access to some of those features and functions as well. So all of these things together help our customers get the most out of their 4xe plug-in hybrid system. So this is a Jeep, and with the Uconnect 5 system, uh, besides for uh, a unique look and feel for this vehicle, we've also integrated a lot of great off-road content like off-road pages. And what those allow you to do is a few things like pitch and roll, your drive modes. Uh, they'll even give you the, uh, your geolocation. So the flexibility of the Uconnect 5 system really allows this vehicle, the user experience, to be unique. So it looks like a Jeep, it gives you Jeep content, and it also helps you get the most out of the unique capabilities that this vehicle offers.